Welcome to Blender Frenzy, I'm Justin. I've got a quick update and a correction to the last video that I just did talking about using scene strips in the VSC from 3D animated text. So here's my 3D animated text ta -da, made in the 3D viewport and that was my title scene. And then in my video editing, I have an edit scene where I have my video sequence editor to enter video. And then I overlaid a scene strip on top of that that will show the animated title right over that. I'm going to hide this audio here. And so we have something that looks like this. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. But this is an update to that one. So what I didn't know you could do is actually see the rendered view. See how this is not the right color. Because right here towards the end, it should be green. If we come over here towards the end, uh, let's see, where is it? Ah, uh, here we go. It's green. Uh, it's supposed to be 100 frames here. But that's green. And then towards the beginning, it should be white. So it should be green here and it should be white here. I thought you had to actually just press F12 and render it out in order to see it here. I didn't know how to get the rendered mode here in the VSC preview. And I asked if anybody knew how to do that. And sure enough, someone did. So I'm going to give a shout out to PC G Games Forever. Is that, how, is that what? PC G Mess Forever. PC G Mess Forever. I, I think it's supposed to be PC Games, but f forgive me if I'm getting that wrong. Anyway, this person says... If you open the VSC editor and set it to preview mode, then in the in panel, which is the properties panel, in the view tab, search for scene strip display tab. There, change shading from solid to rendered. Okay, so here we go. This is our preview in our sequencer, and that's the in tab is here. This is the properties. So you open that up and go to scene strip display and shading. We can change it from solid to rendered. And ta-da, we have the correct material rendering out. So there's the white, and then towards the end, we have the green. And it should look just like we have in the rendered preview here in the 3D view. We can also choose material preview mode, which pretty much is the same thing. And it even has transparency with the material preview mode, which is pretty cool. Or wireframe, which you won't see anything here because this is just text with geometry nodes, so there isn't any wireframe to be seen. So yeah, and I remember seeing this before, but for some reason I thought this was on the scene strip settings over here. I was looking for it here and I was like, well, where is it? I can't find it. And I was like going here, nope, 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 nothing over here. So I didn't think to look in the preview view settings here. So thank you, PC G Games G Mess Forever. Uh, really appreciate that. I love the Blender community because they're always so helpful in the comments when I don't know things and they teach me a lot of stuff as I go along. So yes, thank you again. And if anybody else has anything to add, feel free to add them in the comments, but that's all I want to say now. And oh, hey, look at this. Look at my new Blender hat. Uh, this is the from the store at the Blender Studio. Uh, the, the sale that they had at the end of December 2023, which was just this last December, and all of this stuff was going on sale because they were closing the store, the physical location, and they were going to open up uh, their merch for, with the online stuff. So I thought I'd support Blender, but also I want, you know, something from the actual Blender headquarters. So I got this, I got a mug, I got a shirt, and I got a beanie for a uh, for really good discount. So, all right, thanks for tuning in. Have a good weekend, and you'll see me in the next one.